Venom, thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah, you got it. So I guess we'll start with some lines if you just want to read the dialogue where it says Venom. Nope, nope, we can't do this. This is utter garbage. <sighs> well, we actually have some ideas of our own. Oh, um... We think this movie needs a romantic story arc. We feel that certain love interests of ours should be none other than Felicia Hardy from Amazing Spider-Man 2. God, that girl is breathtaking. You executives, you have the power to turn this into an incredible movie. And the only way that's gonna happen is if you listen to us. We require a minimum of five symbiosis scenes in our movie. Five sim- what? One with Betty Brandt, two with Mary Jane Watson, and maybe a couple with Felicia Hardy in her black cat dominatrix outfit. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people think that Venom is an all-flash, no-substance character. What emotional power do you think you could bring to this movie? Rage. Lots of rage. And raw sexiness. I didn't tell you, but when I, Eddie Brock, bonded with this gorgeous alien symbiote, I was given eons of sexual knowledge. What? We are the action star that everyone wants to see. But we can't do it all, so we need a comic relief character, and we feel that ideal candidate is the Hulk. That's a different series of movies. We don't care what you do. Pay Lou Ferrigno this many zeros, okay? Okay, now Venom, describe, like, your perfect action scene for a movie for you. Predator, the entire movie. Next topic. Okay. Hey, is that your assistant over there? Yes. Is she available? Uh... Hey, you. Can we have your number? How about we take you out on a nice date? And afterward, we go back to our place and have some good old-fashioned symbiosis. We are very good with our tongue. Blah. What many of you don't know is that we are quite a sympathetic character, okay? So this movie needs to be as long, if not longer, than the Titanic in order to fully grasp Eddie Brock and the alien symbiote. So in order to do that, this movie needs to be a minimum of three hours. Three hours is a bit long for a superhero movie in this day and age. Our tongue is kind of long for your mama. What the f- We've heard rumors that you guys are likely going to go with Carnage as the main antagonist of our movie. And to that we say, why? Parker is the main villain you should be focusing on. Look at all the vandalism he caused in Times Square, fighting Jamie Foxx's version of the Riddler. Whatever you do, don't mess up any of the casting, okay? Leave that to us. We're gonna mess it up. <laughs> we are poison to you. We are venom. And we are single. So ladies, call us. Hello everyone, thanks for watching. This was Venom's audition video for the upcoming Venom solo movie. Howdy do, let them know in the comments. For the newest addition to Chicago's Make Them Laugh Films crew, check them out on their channel. For more superhero silliness, check out these two selections from my Superheroes in Real Life series. It's time to announce the winner of this Marvel Masterworks X-Men, and it is going out to Samantha Post by Random Draw. Samantha, I saw in your comment you're a fan of the Dark Phoenix Saga. We'll get a load of this. Wouldn't you know it, this book has the Dark Phoenix Saga in it, and now you got it autographed by the creator of the story. Shout out to Big One first and foremost for Annabelle Smeets. Annabelle, I hope you like Spider-Man's new nemesis. For the longtime supporter, Orochi52. Maximilian Awesome 007. Reality Inc. And Gina, yes, I stay till after the credits. When I go to see a Marvel movie and I see people leaving before the end of the credits, I'm like, it's not like we've been doing this for eight years already or anything. New subscriber alert. Charlie Jones, Ian Gant, Casey Bragdon, Jimmy Sisteros, and Eli Awesome. Yeah. Guess what? Now you don't even have to wait until next week for the next video. We're going to come at you Monday or Tuesday with another villain audition video. Subscribe for new superhero craziness every week, midweek, all the time. Subscribe. See the 100